of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I will go unto the altar of God. Our help is in the name of the Lord. I confess, God Almighty, blessed Mary of the Virgin, blessed Michael the Archangel, the blessed John the Baptist, to the Holy Apostles Peter and Paul, to all the saints, and you, brethren, that I have sinned exceedingly in thought, word, and deed. On my fault, on my own fault, on my own most grievous fault. Wherefore I make blessed Mary of the Virgin, blessed Michael the Archangel, blessed John the Baptist, the Holy Apostle Peter and Paul, of all the saints to you, brethren, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto us pardon, absolution, and remission of all our sins. Amen. Well, thou now turn again and quicken us, O God. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. O Lord, hear my prayer. O Lord, be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You have sent unto me, O God, and defend my cause against the ungodly people. Deliver me and rid me from the deceitful and wicked man. For thou, O Lord, art my God and my strong salvation. O send out thy light and thy truth, that they may lead me and bring me unto thy holy hill and to thy dwelling. Give sentence unto me, O God, and defend the cause of my soul against the ungodly people. Deliver me and rid me from the deceitful and wicked man. For thou, O Lord, art my God and my strong salvation. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. We beseech thee, Almighty God, mercifully to look upon thy people, to find thy great goodness, that they may be governed and preserved evermore, both in body and soul. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, the way is nothing that thou hast made, and dost forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Created in making us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of thee the God of all mercy, perfect remission, and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. The lesson from the blessed Apostle Paul's letter to the Hebrews. <clears throat> Christ, being come a high priest of good things to come, by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building, neither but by the blood of goats or calves, but by his own blood, he entered into once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. For of the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes of an effort, sprinkling the unclean, sanctified to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, Purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. And for this cause he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the First Testament, they which were called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. Here ended the epistle. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies. Teach me to do the thing that pleaseth thee. It is the Lord that delivereth me from my cruel enemies, and setteth me up above mine adversaries. Thou shalt rid me from the wicked man. Many a time have they fought against me from my youth up. May Israel now say, Yea, many a time have they vexed me from my youth up. For they have not prevailed against me. The flowers plowed upon my back and made long furrows. But the righteous Lord hath hewn the snares of the ungodly in pieces. <clears throat> The Lord be with you. <coughs> Continuation of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, o Lord. Jesus said, Which of you convinces me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. 
Then answered the Jews and said unto him, Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan and hast a devil? Jesus answered, I am not a devil, but I honor my father, and ye do dishonor me. And I seek not mine own glory, there is one that seeketh and judges. Verily, verily, I say unto you, If a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. Then said the Jews unto him, Now we know that thou hast a devil. Abraham is dead, and the prophets. And thou sayest, If a man keep my saying, he shall never taste of death. Art thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead? And the prophets are dead. Whom makest thou thyself? Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father that honoreth me, of whom ye say that he is your God. Yet ye have not known him, but I know him. And if I should say, I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. But I know him, and keep his saying. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. And said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. Then took they up stones to cast at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise be to you, Lord Christ. Christ. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being the one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men are our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures, and descended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeded from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who is made by the prophets. And I believe one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. I will give thanks unto the Lord with my whole heart. I will do well unto thy servant that I may live and keep thy word. Quicken thou me, O Lord, according to thy word. Single eternity, relation with God from the end of the past, and the end of the future. Our Blessed Mary, the Virgin Mary, the God of God, the Holy Father, 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 
pray, brethren, that brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable unto God the Father Almighty. May the Lord give the sacrifice of thy hands to the brethren and glory of his name to our government and the laws of the church. Amen. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church. Almighty and ever living God, who by the holy apostles taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men. We only beseech thee most mercifully to accept our oblations and to receive these our prayers, which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord. And grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also, so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers, that they may truly and impartially minister justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice, and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Give grace over the Father to all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may, both by the life and doctrine, set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, and especially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear, beseeching thee to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to give us grace so to follow their good examples, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right, so do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, because on the wood of the cross thou gavest mankind salvation, that so when death arose, life might also rise again, and that the foe who by a tree had conquered, by this tree might be overcome. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. All glory be to thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. For that thou, of thy tender mercy, didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there, by his one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute, and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. In the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. <clears throat> Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. When he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, who celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty, with these thy holy gifts, which you now offer unto thee, 
a memorial thy son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and of thy almighty goodness, for I'll take to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we, receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness, mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merit and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church maintain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls, and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee, that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and make one body with him, that he may dwell in us, and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. By whom, and with whom, and the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Now as our Savior Christ hath commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, Amen. on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Deliver us, we beseech thee, O Lord, from all evils, past, present, and to come. And at the intercession of the blessed, glorious, and ever virgin Mary, Mother of God, and then of thy blessed apostle Peter and Paul, and of Andrew and Aidan, and all thy saints, favorably grant peace in our time, that by the help of thy mercy may ever be kept free from sin, and saved from all misquietude. Through the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost liveth and reigneth God, world without end. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. spirit. Consecration. Christ. Avail to protect you of the life eternal. Amen. O Lamb of God, that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takes away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercy. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs unto thy table. Thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed with the most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Let see the prayer.
would take away the sins of the world. Body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is given for thee, to thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is given for thee, to thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Body of love, have eaten the love which I have drunk. Please, my innermost soul, grant the most spots that remain to my need. Will this be our only sacrament now?
creation of heaven and kind. Blessed grace of the Lord of Jesus Christ, the throne of glory in heaven, all the tabernacles of the world, and the hearts of the faithful people, and this most holy sacrament of the only.